Welcome to another episode of The Musician's Gear. In my last couple of videos, I talked about very specific types of gear for certain types of musicians. And so today I wanted to focus on something that every musician could benefit from and that they really should know. Doesn't matter if you play the saxophone, doesn't matter if you play the drums, doesn't matter if you sing, doesn't matter if you play the freaking kazoo. This is something that every musician should know, and that's knowing their cables. The three main cables we're gonna be talking about today is the XLR cable, the quarter inch cable, and the eighth inch cable. Now, make sure to pay attention because at the end of this video, I'm gonna test your knowledge. All right, let's start with the eighth inch cable. The eighth inch cable, sometimes referred as the headphone cable, is generally used to connect to a device. For example, if you have an audio interface, you most likely have a headphone output jack in the front of it. To connect your studio headphones to your audio interface, you will most likely need a eighth inch to a quarter inch adapter like this. Of course, you won't need an adapter for something like a computer, an iPad, or older smartphones. Really, anything that has an eighth inch output, you won't need an adapter for. Some smaller PA systems also have an eighth inch output on the back that allows you to play your phone or your computer through the PA system. Let's move on to the quarter inch cable now. The quarter inch cable can be used for many different things. They are often referred to as the instrument cable, as guitar players, bass players, and keyboard players use them all the time. You can plug them into instruments or you can plug them into speakers. That is, of course, if the speaker has a output or input for a quarter inch cable. Many analog mixers have a quarter inch input, which can be very helpful, especially if you have a lot of them on hand. Also, some studio monitors will have a quarter inch in the back, which will allow you to connect it to your interface that way. Moving on now to the XLR cable. It's important to know that an XLR cable is a balanced signal. That's why if I ever have the choice, I will choose an XLR over a quarter inch any day. XLR cables are used heavily in the music industry. They're used in live sound settings and then also in the studio. These are the cables you're going to be using for vocal microphones, for overheads, for monitors, for the kick, um, for guitar pedals if you're going direct, and for most wireless systems. The main thing people get confused with when it comes to XLR cables is what end does what. The way I like to look at it is there's an input side and an output side. This is a generally good rule of thumb, although this is not always the case, but for the sake of this video, we're gonna keep it simple and just say it is. Now this is the input side, also referred to as the MEL end. And this is the output side, also referred to as the female end. All right, it's that time now, time to test you. So this is how it's going to work. Each cable has two names that it goes by. I'm going to give you one of the names, either the nickname or the actual name of the cable, and show you the cable. You're then going to guess the name that I didn't say. Make sense? All right, here we go. The nickname for this cable is the instrument cable. What is the actual name for it? The answer is quarter inch. If you got it right, voila. If you got it wrong, too bad. Okay, moving on. All right, here's the next one. This cable is called an eighth inch cable. What is the other name for it? And the answer is a headphone jack slash cable. For this last one, I'm going to show you an end of an XLR cable. And you're going to tell me whether it is an input slash male side or an output slash female side. All right, here we go. And the answer is an output slash female end. If you got all those right, then congratulations. You win a brand new car! Isn't it beautiful? Just kidding, you win nothing. But hopefully you've got some more knowledge now. 
Well guys, that's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching, I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, all that good stuff. It really does help me out. And as always guys, I'll see you next time. Take care.